Hello, my beautiful besties, and welcome to another reaction. This is by uh, a guy called Loudon Wainwright, and the song is called Dead Skunk in the Middle of the Road. It was um, requested for by Daniel Volk. Let's go check it out. Crossing the highway late last night He should have looked left and he should have looked right He didn't see the station wagon car The skunk got squashed and there you are You got your dead skunk in the middle of the road Dead skunk in the middle of the road Dead skunk in the middle of the road Stinking to high heaven Okay, so I had to quickly Google that and see what exactly is a skunk. I never heard that before. <laughs> I've heard the term skunk, but um, it's been used for something else. So it's an animal, apparently, uh, a carnivorous-like animal that's the size of a cat. Uh, and they actually, like, they, they spray you as well, well, if they attacked, uh, I think. So, yeah, we got that out of the road. <laughs> now, I don't know why they've written this song. Uh, it's a novelty song, anyway. Um uh, I don't know why they've written it, you know, because um, so far I cannot see, uh, I, you know, the point of it. <laughs> but, you know, it's a funny song. It's funny. It's got like, you know, like an interesting melody that, that you can sing along to. And um, I think for then it would have been, you know, OK. I think if you write a song like that now, you probably get people, you know, of animal rights coming at you. So um, I don't know. But um, it's interesting, you know. You never know with um songs that are like novelty songs. When, when you're out having fun and you've had a few drinks and they come on, they could sound like the best thing in the world. But when you're home sober, you might think to yourself, "Why did I like that song exactly?" <laughs> I don't know. Let's go hear some more. See what I'm saying? It, it hasn't even been a minute yet. And already I've got the song stuck in my head. <laughs> That's why these things are called novelty songs. Uh, already it's stuck in my head. And another thing that I noticed as well, I think it's got uh, Bob Dylan singing style. Uh, he reminds me a lot of Dylan, the way he sings his style, you know. And actually the singing and the song and the melody, it got even better. After I stopped the first time around, you know, I loved the way he was singing. It had a bit more intensity. You know, it's um, 
It was almost as if he was singing about something important. <laughs> but alas, it isn't. It's about a dead skunk. <laughs> Okay, it came to an end a bit abruptly there, but um, we got the gist of it. Uh, I like the banjo. Is it banjo or mandolin? I'm not sure what was playing there, but um, I like that sound. Um, it was nice. It, it was. It's very, very catchy. And I haven't even heard it twice yet. I only heard it first time. Uh, by the time I heard it for about two minutes, it was stuck in my head already. So um, I can see why it was a big hit, because apparently it made the top 20 in both Canada and the United States of America. So there you are. You know, uh, it, it's it stuck with a lot of people uh, back then. Good stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe some of you might remember this and have a bit of a story to tell about it when it came out. Uh, we'll see. If it was your first time here today, thank you for stopping by. Welcome on board. I hope you enjoyed yourself enough to come back again. If you're going to be going driving this uh, festive period, uh, be careful. Make sure you look left and right so you don't hit a skunk. <laughs> we don't want Harry, you know, reacting to you. If it was your first time here today, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I hope you do come back again. My name is Harry. Stay cool, stay safe, stay beautiful in your hearts and soul. And I'll see you all next stop. Take care. Bye-bye.